Now from a New Zealand Tall Black, we go to a Latvian legend of the game, a gold medal magnet. The towering center was a dominant force for a Soviet Union side that reigned supreme for much of her illustrious career. So much so that she never tasted a single defeat at a major FIBA tournament. She is a three-time FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup champion, a five-time FIBA Women's Eurobasket winner, and now she is being inducted into the FIBA Hall of Fame. Here comes a woman. Ladies and gentlemen, due to her limited mobility to travel to Singapore, her daughter, Agnia Schmitte, is here tonight to receive the induction on her behalf. The great Skydrite Smilzina Budovska. Fiba, welcome you. Welcome your mother. Fib for uh, all of fame. Thank you. Congratulations. And now we have Agnia for her mother's message. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm really grateful to be here and uh, represent my mother, Skydrit, in this magic moment. And my mom has entrusted me her speech, which I will be honored to read it to you. My mom says, I am Latvian. I am proud to be Latvian. During my life, I have experienced several occupations because I was born in 1943 when Latvia was occupied by Germans. When German army went away, we were again occupied by the Soviet Union for 50 long years. But now again, we are a free and independent country with our own language, our own flag, and our own traditions. Although we are a very small country with uh, less than 2 million population, we are a strong and hardworking nation located on the coast of the Baltic Sea in the northern part of Europe. Next to sports, my family has always been my greatest value in my life. I am married to doctor and politician Maris Budowskis, and during our 56 years of marriage, two wonderful daughters were born who have given us five lovely grandchildren and two very nice grand-granddaughters. In this special moment, I would like also to mention my parents, who were my main supporters during my childhood. Their tireless support was especially important to me because I started my career in basketball at the age of 10, and I started playing in national teams already at the age of 15. Incredibly, all these years of my big sports career are connected to only one team, the Latvian TTT Masters team. At that time, as an occupied country, we had no possibility to go outside its borders and play in different countries and in different teams, like all players can do right now. But despite the fact that we are such a small country, 
we as a team want the opportunity to participate in the Euro Cups and won the Cup 18 times and 12 of them in a row. Also, we were unbeatable in the Soviet Union Cup and won the Cup 21 times. Therefore, the TTT master team was recognized as the best women's basketball team of the 20th century and recorded in the Guinness World's Record Book. And you know, if only women's basketball as a sport would have been included in the Olympics as, as the sport at that time. I have no doubt that besides world and European championship titles, I could be proud of an Olympic medal too. I'm very grateful that even after so many years, the FIBA Hall of Fame team has noticed, celebrated and appreciated my achievements. Also, I would like to express great appreciation to all the awarded sportsmen because each of us knows that the great achievements come through tough discipline, hard work, and self-sacrifice. Basketball is a team game. One cannot be the winner. Behind every bright leader, there are excellent coaches and teammates. Therefore, I would like to thank all my coaches and team members from the bottom of my heart. I am sorry that my health does not allow me to be with you in person at this wonderful moment. I am with you in my thoughts, and I want to wish everyone good health, happiness, and many more achievements in the future. I am glad that my youngest daughter could represent me and send best wishes to you today. Therefore, I feel united and present Basketball is a game that connects generations, nations, and borders. Thank you. What a heartwarming moment. Agnia Schmite speaking powerfully about the ability of basketball to build bridges and values in difficult times. And tonight, we honor your mother, Skydrites Milzina Budovska.